Right, well that's me well and truly back in the normal routine. I've um, dropped the kids off at school, been to the gym, uh, and now I've got about a 20 minute drive ahead of me. Uh, so I've got myself a coffee, sticky bun, um, and where I'm going actually is to meet a guy that uh, he kind of contacted me via YouTube. Uh, and offered the services of his leaf spy, something that I've never ever plugged into my leaf before. Uh, be really interesting to see how it compares because when I went to Nissan last and had it serviced, uh, I had a, a printout that basically told me, uh, in essence, my battery health was really good. In case you don't know what like, Leaf Spy is, and I'm talking a complete alien language to you, uh, basically, Leaf Spy is a very kind of basic diagnostic tool I guess. Um, you download an app onto your phone or your iPad um, or Android device um, and it connects with uh, uh, basically either a Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi plug and that plug plugs in just sort of under the steering wheel here there's a, a little panel you pull off and you plug it in and it sends the information to the app uh, that tells you about the state of health of your battery right down to individual battery cells. From a personal point of view it's going to be really interesting to see whether the way I look after or don't look after this car because as I've said before I um, I don't want to have to do anything out of the ordinary to try and look after this car i.e. Uh, only ever charge it up to 80% never let it drop below 20% you know the things that you do to look after batteries uh, I see this as a mode of transport that I just want to get in and drive I don't want to have to worry about stuff like that so um yeah let's go and find out what it's like so as I mentioned on the way over Chris isn't overly keen to um, stand in front of the camera which is no issue you can keep looking at my ugly mug um, I'm not pretty at <laughs> I don't know I, I beg to differ he's a very attractive man yeah. um, so uh, well what I wanted to do is show you his car basically um, it's uh, what year is it it's uh, of, um, it registered October 14, so, so three years, three years and one month now. So back end of 2014, um, it's a Techno spec one, but um, Chris has made quite a lot of um, kind of mini improvements. I'm hoping you can hear me over the lawnmower next door. In some ways, you think uh, Nissan probably should be taking note of and probably doing some of these themselves because some of those little niggles that um, have been mentioned before, Chris seems to have overcome quite well. Chris quite often leaves his car in the garage um, for maybe a week at a time and has noticed that if you don't use it, the 12 volt battery does start to go down. So um, to overcome that, he's fitted just a, um, it's like a trickle charger, I guess, it isn't is, it? It's a, a CTEC. So a CTEC charger. charger. So all that does is just uh, monitors the um, the 12 volt battery and just keeps topping it up when it needs to. It's drawing the, from the main battery because the main battery keeps checking it. Uh, right. Like the telematrics and they draw a hell of a lot of power down yeah. continuously. And it just, I noticed the main battery, unless you go and unplug it and plug it back in again, yeah, uh, charge it back up to 80% because that's yeah. all I do. So you stop at 80%. It slowly draws it down and then when I go to use the car it's at 73%. <laughs> oh, so that's quite, quite a quite big difference. It's got a bit difference. over, that's probably about 10 days. So we've talked about my um, state of health of the battery, what, what's your sat up? Uh, I'm not 100% certain at the moment, I think it was 85, but it showed 84 the other day, but I don't understand why so it hasn't sort of lost a capacity bar. So, so you've still got all your bars, still got 12 bars but so. you're sort of mid 80s. Yeah. Um, but well, I haven't fast charged it in the time I've owned it, so right. that would read. Yeah, so there's something we, we would. Really taken it 100 once. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so Chris is very careful with his battery. He doesn't charge it over 80. percent He's never ever used a rapid charger. Were you, were you saying that people, the person before, yes. they, used it a lot? They used it a lot. So uh, again, uh, sort of looking previously, talking to people, it does look like if you use a rapid charger every so often, that can improve the health of your battery. Mm. But I don't know if you get to a point where you can overuse them and then it starts affecting it. But um, but uh, yeah, for now, he's sort of mid 80s on his health. Other improvements he's made, um, put LED lights all around. So the daytime running lights, Outside inside, lights. side, uh, reverse lights, yeah, reversing lights. Uh, number plate light, all LED lights, which again comes back to, um, I thought right from the off, you know, why, why have we got such a modern car that um, is trying to be really conservative with the um, energy it uses and the, and the battery, and yet we've got these, um, these very old fashioned bulbs that draw a lot of energy. Right, so um, Chris has managed to plug uh, the, um, the device into the car now, which um, basically it's a Wi-Fi device. So you can have a Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is a lot more modern and seems a lot more reliable. Uh, it plugs in, in fact, if I show you, it just plugs in here under the steering wheel. So it's um, as simple as that, and you um, connect it up to uh, your phone, whether it be Android or, I think I've just found out that the, um, the 
Apple version you have to pay for. Uh, if you've got Android, it looks like you can get a free light version. So um, that's something I'm gonna have to look at when I go home. But um, ultimately you get a readout and it gives you all sorts of information uh, about uh, battery cells, state of health, etc. Uh, and we've just brought it up on the screen. So I'm hoping in this light, I can show you that. Um, now looking across the top, the really interesting one for me is the state of health, um, 97%. So bearing in mind, I've done uh, over 30,000 miles, uh, and I've said before, I don't really um, look after my battery at all. I, I charge it to 100%, uh, I let it go below 20. Uh, I'm really surprised at how good that is. Um, now, these red, um, I, I think these are the individual battery cells, I think is I what it's showing there. Yes. Um, now I think my understanding is red isn't amazing, but I have seen that um, people, have managed to rapid charge their battery cells back to blue. Now, whether that's something different, I don't know. I'm gonna to have to go away and have a really good look at that. But the, for me, the, the state of health, um, I'm over the moon with that. I can't believe how good that has remained. And um, I think it, it just shows how good these batteries are. And that all the concern that people have with, um, you know, are electric cars gonna last? Are they gonna be as um, reliable as an ice car? Well, there you go. The, the, the main component that you really have to worry about, the battery, um, they, you know, two years, over two and a half years later, uh, 30,000 miles, no issues whatsoever. So, and this is another interesting thing. So state of charge, 66%. On my dashboard, it's showing 64%. And then the GIDS, which is um, supposedly the most reliable way of looking at it, is saying 63.3%. So that is actually more or closely matched to my um, car than the state of charge that um, the readout's giving. Um, so. I guess from a, I think the the point of that is what well, the readout you get on the car dash is um, is conservative because you're never actually going to run your battery down because to run your battery down completely flat uh, would ruin it. So although the car will cut off and show it's, it is flat, um, it, it actually isn't. There is some charge still in there. Um, here we can see. Uh, so if I was to um, maintain driving at 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour, I've got 49.2 miles left. Um, at the moment, um, as I say, I'm showing 64%. Gloss I, won't, I won't show you the inside of mine at the back, but where the, the kids sit all the time, and Sarah lets them eat, the, um, the sweets and the drinks that I have to pick off of it. Having leather just helps, it means I can wipe it down, but um, mine certainly isn't in the condition yours is in. At my age, it's just Werther's Originals and extra yeah. minutes. <laughs> the occasional one stuck in the rug. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Well, um, thank you ever so much, Chris. I really appreciate you letting me have a look round. And um, you know, you're obviously you're a font of knowledge with um, no, no, with no, the leaves. No, no, so it's um, no. no, it's great. And and to be able to see that um, the state of my battery and everything else is just fantastic. It's um, it's kind of put my mind at rest because you know Nissan gave me a printout saying that um, it was very very good. Yeah, good job. Actually. But actually, it's not as detailed as that. So I, no. I now I know it's um. You can it's, monitor it as well. Now, yeah, which that's interesting right. Interesting to see. So I've only been doing mine mod for a year. Right. But I don't think I've had the leaf spy yet that long. No. So I did check it about six months in. Yeah. Uh, just to see how things are seriously going to go down. It's not going to go, well, it might go up. Yeah, you. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know how, you know, charge, how right? you use it. Yeah. It, 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 well, do you know, it'd be interesting if you could do two or three rapid charges and then plug it in again to see what difference that makes. That'd be, that'd be really interesting. Hmm. Well, I have to say that was a really enjoyable way to spend the afternoon. Um, Chris is um, he's obviously a, a man that takes a great deal of pride in his car. He, um, it, it was absolutely immaculate um, and that's why there are no shots of my car parked next to his because I put mine to shame, it really did. Uh, but obviously all, all those little improvements that he's made, uh, they're all really things that we all have mentioned in the past that kind of Nissan should have done with the vehicle from the off. So LED um, driving lights, why are they not in it? Um, LED lights all round for that matter, it, it would, they don't cost any more. It, you know, it, gone are the days when they cost a fortune and they were a luxury item it's the norm now well, I've just been sat here editing today's video and um, it suddenly dawned on me uh, the day got away from me and I didn't actually kind of conclude the video so I'm um, in conclusion if you like uh, lovely day I uh, thoroughly enjoyed meeting Chris um, it's given me some great ideas about um, improvements that could be made on the leaf uh, and some other things around uh, renewable energy and solar things that I haven't even spoken about on this video but um, Chris is really into all that sort of stuff. So um, 
you know, it was lovely that I got the opportunity via YouTube to go and meet someone I would never have met before, and I really enjoyed that, um, and it'd be great if more of that could happen in the future. But for now, if you've enjoyed today's vlog, uh, please remember to like and share it, and if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.